Welcome to my minigame only Iron Man series. In the last episode, I wasted a bunch of time playing a game of Gnome Ball. But this time we're actually going to work towards something. Tears of Guthix. To complete Tears of Guthix, we already have a few of the items required, but we need to level some stats and get our hands on a Bullseye Lantern. The only way this account can get a Bullseye Lantern is through Death to the Dorgashun. So that's our first step. Or it would be, but first we need some levels. For that, we're going to do Chambers of Zarek where we can level six different skills in the same minigame. Chambers also happens to be one of the only minigames with absolutely no requirements, so it's going to be absolutely vital in eventually getting the total levels we need for Soul Wars. But it's not that easy. To reach the raid entrance, we'll need to pass through Lizardmen and Mountain Trolls, both of which can kill my level 3 account in one hit. But we're going to give it a try and see if we can make it through. Here we go, see you on the other side. And I died. Looks like I'm gonna need some more hit points levels and some food to make it in there. So let's see what we can do about that. So we're gonna head to one of the only mini games uh, that I can do as a level three and try and do a little LMS to make some money to buy food. I am terrible at LMS, so this might take a while. And, ooh, okay. Let's try that again. I'm doing pretty well this game. Uh, oh, my health is almost gone. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Well, I'll get a point eventually. Ooh, I got four question mark there. I'm... that's rough. Well, that guy wasn't even there, so that feels like a bit of a hollow victory, but... I'll take it. That's a point. Maybe we can get another kill and even some more points. We'll see. Well, I got one point. So I should be able to buy some adamant arrows with this, and use that to buy some food. I think that's the best thing I can buy out of this list, with just one point. Yeah, it looks like adamant and rune arrows, so we'll go with adamant, and... Oh! Okay. So I have another 46 hours to play on this account before I can use this as a money-making method, apparently. Well, in that case, we're on our way to the fight caves. Uh, I'm going to flinch some bats. There are not many minigames that let you gain combat experience, and if I die here, I just can start over again, so let's give it a shot. I don't know how much damage bats will do to a level 3. Yeah, I'm gonna have to flinch these. Ooh, okay. That's not so bad, because I can just run back in there and uh, get to flinching. And I will see you guys in four minutes. And there it is, the first level on the account to attack. This will hopefully speed things up a little bit. I've been missing a lot. Uh, literally took 15 minutes. So on to level three. You ever want to just punch a bat? Well, I died, but we got our first level, and uh, in five minutes or so, I'm going to head back in there. So I decided that I needed a weapon. So it turns out if you start the gnome minigame, uh, gnome restaurant minigame, they'll give you some free stuff which you can sell to the shop. There we go. Got a bronze two-hander on the account. This will significantly speed things up. Uh, it won't take too much for me to get a max hit of two, 50% higher average damage. Let's go test this thing out. This maybe was slightly less effective than I had hoped it would be. There it is, the first hit with the bronze two-hander. Well on our way to three attack. Can we get the back-to-back? -back? No. There it is, a back-to-back -back three attack. Looking good. Two levels on the account this episode so far. Plenty more to come. And I'll see you with the next one. And there it is, level 2 strength. We're on the board for attack and strength now. 
another strength level and I believe I will gain a max hit with this weapon, which is kind of a big deal. So I will see you with the next level. And there it is, five attack. This is actually kind of a big deal. Uh, steel weaponry. I think I'm gonna get a steel two-hander sword. I think it's worth it. So I got a uncut emerald from a random event. And I have some coins from selling those uh, crunchy trays from earlier. And we're gonna buy a steel two-hander. Turns out I don't have enough, so I'm gonna get a couple more trays. This is technically part of the mini game. Okay, to make the rest of the money for the steel two-hander, I'm actually gonna do a couple quests. Uh, sheep shearer is actually really easy. I can buy the wool, so it's just free GP. Uh, I can buy that in Ardoan and uh, take care of some other stuff on the way. I am being quite penny-pinching right now. Got my balls of wool, gonna finish up the quest here. I think you get a funny dialogue if you start the quest with wool. Oh, and get a spade, because I'm also going to do Pirate's Treasure. Uh, both these quests reward some amount of GP. Well, that was easy. Got a crafting level on the account. Um, I'm actually able to train crafting without any help from outside sources because you get crafting from pest control. I'm gonna start Pirate's Treasure here. When I was a kid, I recall this quest taking a very long time. If you have the stuff, it's just a trip to Karamja and back, basically. And we can thankfully just buy all the uh, items we need right here at the shop. Gonna have to do a little world hopping here. And I forgot to get an apron, so... It was a quick trip to Varek and got the apron. And we're good to go. I really gotta do something about my agility level. Walking everywhere is... painful. And we'll dump the rum and bananas in the box. Gotta make sure I get those 30 coins. It's kind of a big deal. The right-click pay fair option being quest locked is one of the weirdest features of old school RuneScape. Thankfully, I don't have to worry about that anymore. This is strangely similar to how I got my first job. Why did I record this whole thing? And voila. Quest complete. Lots of money here. I can sell these for even more. So I'm gonna quick do that. That'll get us real close to the Steel Two-Hander. Oh, well, that's gonna get us like exactly to the Steel Two-Hander. Turns out this two-hand shop is actually a little cheaper, so we're gonna buy it here. Oh, look at that. Feeling real beefy on the account now. A proper weapon. We got some decent stat bonuses here. I don't think the apron does anything. It doesn't. But it looks good. Matches my beard. So hopefully with this increased strength bonus, we can start doing a little bit higher damage. And uh, I'm hoping that I miss a little less. I had like a 30% hit rate before. Well, let's try it out. That is not a good sign. This feels exactly the same as the bronze two-hander. Kind of feel like I wasted my time doing this. Okay, oh, there we go. Five strength, I missed the level, but uh, that should give us another max hit. Start hitting some twos. With the accurate attack style, uh, there's level six attack. Six attack coming in. I'm starting to hit a little more consistently. Oh, there it is, wow. All those are gonna start flowing in. I'm gonna try out the blob. It has way more defense than the bats, so we'll see. Yeah, uh, this is taking forever. And uh, it also does recoil damage, which only for melee attacks, I guess? That's a fun fact for you if you've only done the caves with uh, blowpipe or something. Here, if I can actually hit it once, you can see. I'm not sure if this is more efficient to fight this thing, or if it's better just to die on purpose 
so I can go back in in five minutes. It's really hard to say because I miss a lot, so, but I mean, waiting five minutes after every two waves is also very slow. Yeah, and there's the recoil damage and level seven. Seven attack. Really buffing up that total level. Almost a 3,000 total experience on the account. Getting close on the hit points. A couple more hit points levels and I think I'll be good to go. There it is. Wave three completed. Oh, I forgot that he splits in two. Well, I got some Tockle. That's nice. Feeling pretty good about the account. So I realized a new money-making method I could do that fits within the rules of the account. We're actually going to be heading over to the Silk Trader. If you didn't know, you can actually buy silk here for 2 GP each. You have to go through a boring dialogue, but you can sell them in Ardone for 60 each. So that's what I'm going to do with all of my money. Okay, so we got a full inventory. Spent all the GP I had, going to sell them to the silk merchant here. This should probably be plenty of money to buy some food in Brimhaven, and then we'll be ready to go to Chambers of Zarek. And now we just need to buy food. And I think tuna's going to be my best uh, cost to value ratio. I don't even have enough hit points for lobster or swordfish to really matter. I'm going to do some world hops and see you soon. And that is probably enough fish. If I can't make it there with this much food, then I don't know what I'm going to do. I want to be risking as little as possible, so I'm going to bank almost everything. That'll probably be fine. And I'll see you in the next episode. Let's see if we can make it past and into the chambers of Zarek. Thanks for watching. Bye.